Ich stehe hier am Stand von Electronic Arts zusammen mit Patrick Söderlund. Er hat 1999 bei DICE angefangen, kümmert sich aber inzwischen um noch viel mehr Studios bei Electronic Arts. Trotzdem wird er uns jetzt hauptsächlich Fragen zu Battlefield 3 beantworten, und zwar Fragen von der GameStar Community. Hey Patrick, it's great that you're with us. Thank you. So what I'd like to do is ask you some questions our community has asked about Battlefield 3. Yeah. The first question comes from, user, from our user Grizzly. He's asking whether there will be a paid premium service for Battlefield 3 comparable to uh, Call of Duty Elite. Well, the answer is we will absolutely have the same type of features as they, but it will be perfectly free. We won't charge you for it. Okay, that's a great answer. Next question is from Sir Hurl. He's asking, well, it's a very detailed question. He's asking about the friends list in Battlefield 3, because the friends list in Bad Company 2 just could contain 20 friends. So he had to uh, kick people and pull new people in and something like that. Will you expand it for Battlefield 3? Well, all I can say is that we are going to have a very different system than in Bad Company 2 and more extensive friend support system. So. Uh, I actually don't know if it's 20 or 200, uh, to be honest. But uh, I'll make sure that we, we uh, that Sir Merle will know that before before we ship the game. But he can expect a vastly improved friends experience overall. Okay. Um, one question a lot of community members have asked is about um, the server browser, because there have been many problems with the server browser in uh, previous Battlefield games. Um, what will you do to increase stability and to increase functionality in Battlefield 3? Well, I think all we can do is obviously we we made a, a ton of games in the past, and and I agree with you. Some of them sometimes the server browser in particular hasn't been perfect. Uh, we are testing it more. We are uh, we have experience under our belt, so so I am confident that we will have something that works quite well. So um. One question that has been asked by our user A forces: Will there be modding tools? Well, as of now, we are not going to make any modding tools. No. Okay, why? Because if you look at the Frostbite engine and how complex it is, uh, it's going to be very difficult for people to mod the game because of, of the nature of, of, the, um, of the setup of levels, the destruction and all those things. Uh, it's, it's quite tricky. So we think it's going to be too big of a challenge for people to make a mod. Yeah, another question that's been asked by our user, uh, Rare Hunter. Um, it has been announced that Battlefield 3 will not contain a commander mode, but are you planning for any other tactical element that um, uh, as a substitution? Uh, there are absolutely other tactical elements in the game that is, I find to be pretty cool. So like the, for instance, the as you can see here when you play multiplayer, the squad leader has a star on top of his head. And he's so, there are certain things that will, well, if you kill the squad leader, there you get bonus points for it. Uh, the squad obviously can't spawn on you if you're the squad leader. And there are other attributes related to uh, tactical things like that. There's a couple of other things that I really like is uh, that actually the technology enables us to do. So if you play again the, the level that we have downstairs, if you get into the subway, uh, there's actually a quite a bit of tactical reasoning to how you, you, you take, if you take out the lights. All the lights are so dynamic and let's say that because you're in a subway, if you shoot out the lights, it becomes pitch black. That will be an advantage for you. And then with the addition of flashlights on some of the guns, it's, it calls for some cool, mo some cool gameplay moments. Finally, the last question doesn't really concern Battlefield 3, but as you're the, the general manager of DICE Reports, so you, you ought to know, will there be a Mirror's Edge 2? <laughs> well, I've had this question probably 200 times, uh, <laughs> and uh, I love Mirror's Edge and what we did with Mirror's Edge. Uh, we have not abandoned the franchise, and uh, you know, we're working on something, but I'm not willing to talk more about that. Okay, Patrick, thank you very much. Thank you.